The snake oil salesman. Yes, that's it, folks. We're back to the online horse racing tipsters. I know it's old Mr. Sandrovich, old Peter, Peter's racing tips. He's gone missing again. I think he appeared for one more day last week. He gave five tips. He'd he'd have two of his biggest bets of the year. One of them did win. The other four came nowhere. He's disappeared since. He'd already had a couple of weeks off because all his tips were going um, south. They were doing badly. He'll be back soon. Don't worry about that. His compadre, his compatriot, old Neil Maurice, he's been on every day last week because he's having winner after winner, or so we'd lead you to believe. Some are winning, some are coming placed. You would have got a return of him last week, unlike most weeks. But yes, on Saturday, was it Saturday or was it Sunday? Yesterday it was. Yesterday, he gives a free tip every day. Yesterday, because he's doing so well, there was no free tip yesterday, none at all. But he was giving you three horses. And it was for £5. He's gone for him offering horses. He's got his own private members that pay £99 per half year. Well, I think they pay more. But he's always trying to bring people in on that and the reduced rate of £99. I don't think that's working for him because now he's trying to sell the tips on a daily basis to you and me. Sometimes for £5 a horse. Sometimes for £5 for two or three horses. Sometimes for £10 a horse. And sometimes he does a no win, no fee. Where you pay him, and if the horse doesn't win, he gives you the money back. Sounds all right on the face of it. The downside is you've then bet the horse, so you've lost money on the back of him. Anyways, yesterday, because he's done so well for the week, there was no free bet. But he was doing three horses, I three horses, for only a fiver. Oh, that sounded great. Now today, in today's thing, he's pushing out what he did yesterday, because there was a winner there. And there was. He gave you three horses for your fiver. And there was one winner at nine to four. Anybody that knows anything about maths will know if you put that one horse on as part of a double or treble, you've got beat. If you bet each of the three horses separately, say you put a tenner on each, 30 quid, I think you might win £22.50, I think. But maybe my maths is not 100%. Maybe I'm wrong about that. Maybe I'm wrong. So you're losing about £7.50. Now he's pushing it today to say he had a winner yesterday. He doesn't say that it was all, that's in the old thumbnail. Winner yesterday, blah, 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 so he's done something good. He doesn't mention in the thumbnail or when he's talking that if you've actually bet them as a double or treble or each individually, you will ultimately have lost money. He doesn't mention that at all. But today he's back to a free bet. You've got a free bet off him against it. Oh, grand, it's a crackerjack. 11 to 4, the horses. This guy is the handicap king, by the way. The handicap king, whose winner yesterday was 9 to 4. 9 to 4. Handicap king. And today's bet is 11 to 4. And what's he done? Oh, no, he's not actually to put it on the nose because it's only a bit less than 3 to 1. He said, bet it each way because he can't see out of the first three. And if you come second or third, you're still going to lose, but not as much. You're covering yourself. I get that strategy, but calling yourself the handicap king and telling people to bet horses at 11 to 4 each way, thus doubling your stake, or half in your stake, depending on how you're going to play it, I think he's really, really, really poor. Anyway, I've known him do that before. I've known him offer that before when they don't even get in the first three. So you're in. Anyway, I just don't get it. And I don't get why people still bet with him. I've asked this question many times before. Many that follow this channel are on the same page as me. They think this neck girl salesman. They think they're a joke. But I've not had anybody come on here, message me, telling me that they've bet with him for six months or 12 months and let us know how they're doing. I'd love to know. I know you'll have the odd win. He does get the odd win. I do know that. But I know there's a lot more losses because I know he gives lots of horses as they all do. And it's only the ones that win that they tell anybody about. Because I know what they do on these channels is, as I've said before, the comment section is closed down. So not, nobody that's betting these arses can talk to one another. Nobody knows how bad each and everybody's doing. You go with him, you pay your money for a while, and then you walk away. And then he snares more of the unsuspecting public further down the line on promises of great profits. And whilst he's telling you all this and you're paying him the money, you see him in locations like, was it Hungary over the week? Czechoslovakia won it this weekend. Weekend before he was in France. He'd been to Dubai only a few weeks ago. It's all on your money, folks. All on your money. You want to carry on paying him, you carry on paying him. But I'd love to know what some have lost following these horses. I really would. I wish some that bet with him were visiting this channel and could tell us. I'd love to know.